Greetings everyone. It's great to see all of you again. What I'm going to cover today is uh, evolution of low mass stars. The Sun is a low mass star and what you're about to see really portrays what will happen with the Sun. The Sun today is about 4 billion years old so it's in the middle of its main sequence. After that it will continue to burn as it does for about another 4 billion years and then what will happen is it will turn into a red giant it will go through different phases as it does different um, things related to what's happening in its core what it's doing with respect to fusing helium um, hydrogen other things eventually it will turn into a nebula and then it will start to fade away into a white dwarf. This is the life of a star. Stars are born, stars are di will die. I'm going to show you a uh, simulation of that. Again, it's uh, not perfectly scientific, but you'll certainly get the idea of the various phases. you notice in the upper uh, the right hand corner there's an HR diagram and as this simulation goes through you'll see the different places where the star appears on the HR diagram. Again this is for a star of one solar mass which is the Sun. Oh by the way it does mean that we're only going to be able to live on Earth for about another one billion years because the Sun is gradually getting hotter. Even though it will stay in the main sequence for about another four billion years, in about one billion years it's going to be way too hot. So even if we solve global warming within the next century or two, in about a billion years uh, life will be unsustainable on Earth. Of course we'll discuss uh, some implications of that later. But for now I'll sign off. Uh, hopefully you'll find this video educational. Thank you.